hi guys welcome to simplifying tech and programming so today we are going to check about aggregation function in mongodb by using java language so for that i am using my blog uh, so blog link is provided into video description so basic question in our mind so what is aggregation in mongodb so when you query your mongodb for desired filters then you want to group your results and provide the matrices such as the total counts total averages some that kind of functions that we can say as a uh, aggregate functions in these cases you want to use aggregation to accomplish the task aggregating mongodb documents in java is a simple process so in this article we are going to check about performing aggregation on mongodb by using java to simplify that into sql terms so uh, i will be like comparing the aggregation functions of mongodb with sql aggregation so in sql so you can able to uh, so in sql there are terminologies like uh, uh, count sum average max mean so that kind of functions where we can apply that functions in for your data in order to extract your uh, filter to simplifying aggregation for mongodb so we, we will compare aggregation of mongodb with sql so in sql there are some aggregation functions like count sum average max mean so these these are function we can apply to data to perform aggregation or to perf or to filter out the data as per our requirements so these kind of function we can use into mongodb also but in different terminology so syntax is different but logic is the same so for that uh, so how we are doing it in mongodb so that is the question so for that in mongodb aggregation framework there are certain keywords we can use it in order to aggregate our data into mongodb so that are like match group sort or accumulators so such uh, keywords we can use it so i will tell you how we can use it but before i uh, i will be comparing that into sql so that you will understand better so most commonly used aggregation keywords are like uh, one is like a project so project means you you are projecting your data in order to fetch the data from the mongodb so the equivalent concept in sql is a select like uh, in mongodb we are using a match keyword in order to uh, filter out your data by using like where condition in sql so uh, the group so grouping of data so it is the same in sql by using group by keyword so in mongodb we are using uh, group keywords then for sorting we are using uh, order by in sql and in uh, mongodb we are using sort then same like a count limit and out parameters so for that so same way we are using like count limit your data and out parameters in order to uh, aggregate your functions so i just wanted to iterate that uh, in the previous uh, sections so we have uh, covered like uh, what is mongodb so how we can install it into uh, windows system and uh, how we can connect uh, mongodb with java then mongodb curd operations so like that topic i have covered so there is a playlist in uh, youtube so in my channel so you can check it out so proceeding further so we need to execute some basic steps in order to start with our uh, aggregation practical implementation so for that we need to start our mongodb server on our local machine so for that go to the directory where your mongodb is installed so go to bin directory and say cmd then just type mongod in order to start your mongo server so mongodb server is starting up yeah so uh, mongodb server is just started so now uh, we are going to eclipse and uh, creating a simple java project a maven based project so go to eclipse just say create a maven project now create a simple project say next give the name as aggregation mongo java 
copy the same name as artifact ready say finish yeah so our project is created now just copy your uh, this into project so this is a java mongo driver so we for connecting java so we need driver so for that driver we are adding this dependency so open your pom.xml and uh, just add that dependency yeah so add this dependency save it now create a, a simple java class So we are creating a Mongo connection, uh, connections. So uh, this is uh, just standard code in order to create your uh, Mongo connection and uh, simple database. So I'm connecting to local. So just say Control Shift O in order to import your dependencies. So see uh, here what I'm doing. So I'm creating, uh, uh, declaring the Mongo client. So in order to connect with my local host server, Mongo server, and uh, just I'm creating a sample database called YouTube so that uh, I can do the aggregations on that. So uh, this is the data set I'm using for example purpose. So this is a sample class uh, which, uh, which is uh, the example data set uh, we are using as a YouTube. So it is a data set where uh, we have like uh, some few channel names. Uh, YouTube is a data set, then channel name will be uh, your collection. And uh, there are attributes like uh, documents you can say. In that document, so we are putting some metadata for channels like subscriber crown, what is the gender of the channel, what is the name of the channel, like that. So if you check about uh, MongoDB, then I have already inserted uh, the data. So this is a Mongo compass. Uh, inside my compass, I have a YouTube data database. Then inside my YouTube database, there is a chan uh, channels named collection is there. So inside my collection, there are few documents are there that I have already inserted. So the document contains the information about the channel. So for example, like uh, I have a channel with the name Flying Beast. So for that, uh, what is the subscriber count? So what is the genre of that uh, channel? And uh, what are the uploaded video count? And what is the primary key that is a ID? So just like that, I have a few channel names. So, so this we are using in order to aggregate our data. So this is the reference image. So we have created the database. Now just create uh, by using this. So we are creating a collection and the collection we are creating as a channels. Just say control shift O in order to import your dependencies. Okay. So the so database is connected. So like, so I have put it some log logger like uh, this is a database. This is a collection. Yeah. Now to begin with aggregation, let's start with something simple. So earlier we noted that the data set YouTube contain the information about channel. Now say if we want to check the number of channels in the data set where the genre of the channel is a comedy followed by getting counts for the same. So for that, so there is a piece of code so that I'm copying. I will tell you in meaning for that. So copy this code. Say, say control shift O in order to import your packages. So right now my I think my Java is not pointed to 1.8. So just change your Java to 1.8 if you are not using 1.8. So here what I'm doing. So so here just I'm uh, implementing the print statement for JSON. So I'm printing the document. So for that, this uh, Java 8 compatible uh, block is there. So now this is the main function is there. So where we can say collection dot aggregate. So we are using aggregate function of, of Java. So which what it is doing the so aggregating document according to the specific aggregation pipeline. So here we are mentioning the pipeline that in, inside the arrays dot as list. 
inside that aggregates not match so we are using match filter here so we are matching the data where uh, the channels jenner is equals to comedy now so just run the program in order to see if it is aggregate by using the only jenner so we are using uh, the filters of uh, match crit criteria for the aggregate function yeah see uh, so collection is aggregated uh so the so all the names of the channel uh, which are comedy that are listed inside uh, uh, your console so here you can see the channel is comedy then for this so general will be a comedy and for this also the general will be comedy so it is matching the uh, so the, the attribute according to our filter so now uh, we will see the count function so where uh, we need to count uh, the channel is having jenner with a uh, jenner with the comedy so we need to find out the comedy jenner channels how many uh, are there so for this i'll just go to this and just copy this count function so you can add it here so i just uh, added uh, one, one, one more pipeline here to uh, with, with match as a count just save it and try to run it yeah so you can see so we we got count as a three so in our uh, channels collection so we got the comedy genre count as a three so if you see in the uh, compass then uh, you can see this is one Two and this one is three so three are comedy channels so that way we got this count here so moving further we can use the having clause also so for using having clause so just copy this code so we are using a pipeline in more efficient way so let's comment this code and uh, just add this code so I will show you how it works just say control shift o in order to import your dependencies save it so what uh, we are doing so we uh, find efficient way so i can say collection dot agreed arrays dot as list and here instead of passing these aggregate whole functions so i am writing this bison document above so uh, we are using the match uh, keyword but uh, in SQL way, we are using having uh, criteria where we need to find out the channels which are having subscribers more than 35 lakhs. So I have added this. So just say right click and just say. Yeah, so we got the results. So we can see uh, one, two, three, four, four uh, channels I got whose count is more than uh, 35 lakhs so this one is uh, 2 crore 40 lakhs so this one is 39 lakhs this one is greater than 35 lakhs uh, moving further uh, we can use a group by clause uh, we using accumulators and also we can use the sum keyword so for that i am copying this line so just i am adding here I am grouping my collection data according to just say for this accumulators say control shift O yeah so accumulators is a builders for accumulators used in the group pipeline uh, stage of aggregation pipeline so it is the way in order to like uh, represent your sum uh, criteria or uh, uh, our aggregation criteria so this group I have added here so this document uh, so what i am doing so here i am mentioning that uh, i am uh, so i am clubbing my jenner uh, of the channel uh, with total number of count so for comedy for example for comedy so i am getting this much of count of subscribers so this plus this that's that kind of things so i am running it so for different genres i need the count so you can see for comedy genres i have total subscribers like uh, 6 crore 41 lakhs 
like for vlogging section or Jenner, I got this much uh, subscribers like this. So we are grouping the data and we are like summing the uh, particular field. So we can uh, represent this in more efficient way. So for this, uh, we can use that aggregate dot project. So that I will show you. So just so here we are using aggregate dot project. So say control shift O in order to import your dependencies. So projection is a, like a factory of projections is a convenient way to use the class static statically import all the methods which allows the usage like collection dot find and all. So this project say copy comma project. So observe the output console. So here uh, you will get uh, in proper way where uh, you can see the total subscribers are uh, this much for general community, total subscribers are this much for general, uh, general uh, vlogging. So like that way, so it is a represented here. So it is a represent projection of your data, but we can use that aggregate dot project. Okay. So moving further, we can do sorting also. So for sorting, just copy this and paste it here. Sorting, just say control shift O in order to import your sorting dependencies. So copy this sort and add it here. So, so how I'm sorting? So sorting by descending order of subscribers means the highest subscribers channel will be displayed first. So say right click and say run. So you will able to see the highest number of subscribers is a uh, Kariminati who is having 2 crore 40 lakh subscribers. So this is the first one. Then this is the second one where uh, the subscriber count is less than first. Then this is the less than uh, the above one. So like this, uh, so it is a sorted according to subscribers. So last one is having 100 subscribers means it is the lowest one. So this way we can sort the data. Then we can use the limit in aggregation. So for that just copy this. And copy this limit. So here I am what I am doing. So I am listing, uh, I am sorting this uh, whole uh, my list of channels and I am limiting my output with, uh, with the three, three rows now because I have limited here. Yeah, so the we got the desired output. So I can able to see the top three uh, lines of the, uh, so whatever the aggregation function we have run. So this way we can able to limit your data. So we have seen like first we have seen match. Uh, <coughs> so we have seen match, then we have seen count. Then we have seen grouping of data. Then we have seen the projection of data, sorting of data, limiting of data. So these are some aggregate functions which can be used in MongoDB along with Java. Yeah. So uh, to concluding this, so uh, we saw the MongoDB aggregation and how we can apply them in Java using example data set. So you can able to find the whole source code in GitHub. So I will provide the link in uh, video description. Yeah, so thanks a lot for watching this video and uh, keep tuned to get the more updates of uh, technical things to be simplified in more graphical and uh, more interesting way. Yeah, so thanks a lot.